What is up guys, we're back with another episode of the Colorado food scene and today we are finally getting to go to Johnny's Pizza. Uh, we've been waiting a, a good amount of time for this because they were closed the, uh, the last time we tried to go here and we're actually pulling into the parking lot right now. Check that out. There it is right there. Oh, it's crazy overexposed. Yeah. Never mind, never mind. Put a camera back on me. So we just pulled up at Johnny's Pizza, guys. Once I park, I'll give you a little bit of a rundown on what the deal with this place is. There it is right there guys, Johnny's New York Pizza. For the longest time, this place has been a family favorite of my family and pretty much all of our family friends. And uh, as far as I know, because you know, I've never really been to New York before, this is as close to authentic New York pizza as you're gonna get outside of New York. From everyone that I know from New York who has tried this place, that's that's what they've said. This place is owned by someone who came here from New York, which is pretty cool. It also adds to the authenticity of the pizza. So we're gonna go ahead and go in and uh, order a pizza. What do you like on your pizza, Brandon? I like to keep it simple. I just like pepperoni. Pepperoni, all right, fair. I, I usually like to go for a cheese pizza, but we can do half and half, you know? Yeah, that's fine. We can get half cheese, half pepperoni. So we're gonna go ahead, go in there and grab ourselves some pizza. This is Chinese pizza, guys. What do, you, what do you think? What do you think of the vibe? I like it. You like it? It's nice and quiet. It's not too loud. Yeah. It's nice that there's like no one here too. Yeah. It's nice and pleasant. Look at that pizza, guys. Now you unfortunately can't smell it, but it smells really, really good. It really good. does. Oh yeah. So go, grab yourself a piece, bro. Eat up. Cheese. <laughs> oh, buddy. <laughs> this, is how, this is how you know it's fresh. Oh, yeah. Deliciousness. There we go. Look at that. Okay, so it's really hot. But... Oh, it's very hot. But you gotta get that fresh bite. <laughs> so what, what do you think? How does it rank in terms of pizzas that you've had before? It's definitely one of the better ones I have. I've had. Word. And I've had a lot of really good pizzas. So. Oh yeah, this place, this place does it right. Mm -hmm. Like, the camera doesn't even do it justice. But look at that deliciousness. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, join Brandon and enjoying some pizza here. So there you go, guys. That's the Johnny's New York pizza experience. It's exactly how it's been for as long as I can remember, and it's still freaking delicious to this day. The interior of the building has changed quite a bit since I was little, but you know, it's it's still a nice place. Brandon, what, what, did, you, what did you think here? I thought it was great. I highly recommend it. If you've never been and you're in the area, definitely give it a try. Yeah, absolutely give Johnny's Pizza a try. This place is incredible. Best <clears throat> pizza that I've ever had in my life. And I know that's going to spark some war with the Coloradans here who have been to uh, Bojo's up in Idaho Springs. But <laughs> I'm telling you guys, Johnny's Pizza is just better. Anyway, though, guys, that is going to be it for probably the final episode of the Colorado food scene for a little bit here because this is Brandon's last day here. Mm -hmm. Very sad. We're not going to have any new fun daily content for a little bit here, but we'll be back to our normal every Friday schedule type deal. So anyway, guys, that is going to be it. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, thank you for watching.